my top 10 favourite Dudley Moore films. Dudley Moore was born on the 19th of April 1935 in London, England. He made his big screen debut in the movie The Wrong Box in 1966. Bedazzled 1967 Stanley is infatuated with Margaret the statuesque waitress who works at Wimpy Bar with him. Despondent he prepares to end it all when he meets George Spigger aka the devil. Selling his soul for seven wishes Stanley tries to make Margaret his own. Foul Play 1978 When unbeknownst to Gloria a microfilm cassette is left with her by a dying agent. She becomes entangled in a complicated series of events. She's pursued by a dwarf and an albino and becomes convinced that they are out to kill her. 10. 1979 42-year-old famed composer-playwright George Webber is going through a midlife crisis. Driving one day, George spots a young woman who he believes is the most beautiful creature he's ever seen, an 11 on a scale of 10. Arthur 1981 Arthur is a happy drunk with no pretensions of any ambition. He is also the heir to a vast fortune which he is told will only be his if he marries Susan. He does not love Susan, but she will make something of him the family expects. Then he goes shopping where he falls in love with a shoplifter. Romantic Comedy 1983 Dudley Moore and Mary Steenburgen star as successful writing partners whose timing is perfect on stage but amusingly pathetic in their love life. Unfaithfully Yours 1984 Moore plays Claude Eastman, the conductor of prestigious symphony who suspects that his actress wife Daniela is falling around behind his back with the orchestra's handsome soloist Maximilian Steen. Santa Claus the Movie 1985 This is the story of Master Toymaker who discovers a magical kingdom of elves in the North Pole and becomes Santa Claus. But when Santa's eager to please elf Patch leaves the North Pole for New York City, he becomes mixed up with the dastardly toy tycoon's plans to take over Christmas. Like Father Like Son 1987 Dr. Jack Hammond is completely absorbed in his work and has no understanding for his teenage son Chris's problems with school. By accident, one of them drinks a brain exchanging serum and it switches their identities. Crazy People 1990 A bitter ad executive who has reached his breaking point finds himself in a mental institution where his career actually begins to thrive with the help of the hospital's patients. Blaming on the Bellboy 1992 Lawton a hitman, Horton expecting some middle aged dating agency Nookie and Orton checking out properties for his boss converge on the Hotel Gabriella in Venice. Linguistic mix ups by the staff mean each of the trio gets wrong instructions. You know Hobson, I, I never got to love anybody. What do I have to live for? I mean I'm a failure at everything I do, I'm just in everyone's way. Would you remove your helmet please? You spoiled little bastard. You're a man who has everything, haven't you? But that's not enough. You feel unloved, Arthur. Welcome to the world. Everyone is unloved. 